How many times have you tried to remember something and felt it slip through your grasp? How many brilliant ideas have you failed to take action upon? We spend countless hours every year reading, listening and watching informational content. But is it possible to remember everything and recall all the information at will? The truth is, we can't use our brains to store everything we need to know. In fact, human brains haven't actually evolved to keep up with the unprecedented volume of data. Building the Second Brain by Tiago Forte offers a simple but inspiring antidote to the stress of 24-7 news and information. Human brains are not hard drives. Their main function is to imagine, invent, innovate and create. But they are not well suited to consuming and storing the thousands of pieces of information we receive each day. When we force ourselves to remember everything we consume digitally, we quickly get overwhelmed. With a little extra care to preserve these valuable resources, our precious knowledge remains scattered across dozens of different locations. This is where having a second brain comes in handy. By building a second brain, we create digital external storage systems that help us to capture, organize, retrieve and archive the ideas and thoughts that come to mind. While the brain that we were born with is quite limited, we create the second, digital one, to bridge the gap in our ability to learn and remember in this digital world. The second brain we build is never intended to replace the human biological brain, but rather to serve as an extension of it. We can store and organize more data and easily retrieve them, thus allowing our biological brain to focus more on creativity and problem solving. And if we combine both the biological and second brain, we expand our memory and can use our brain to generate creative ideas to improve our work. By reducing the strain on our brain, it can connect the dots easily with less effort and less time. Expanding our brain will make it much easier for us to improve our knowledge, boost productivity and achieve more goals. There are four action steps involved in creating a second brain. Often shortened as an acronym, CODE, the action steps are capture, organize, distill and express. First, we need to capture. This means gathering all of the relevant online information and ideas in one place. This can include articles, videos and podcasts. Save all those ideas in digital note-taking tools, management apps, to-do lists or anything you prefer to create the home of the second brain. Next is to organize. Create a structure for information that makes it easy to find and use. Not by topics or categories, but rather by actionability. We can use the PARA method here. We separate the information into four folders. Projects, where all the active tasks are at. Areas, where less active and more long-term tasks belong. Resources, where we store all the interesting information that might be valuable for the next projects. And Archive, where we keep finished projects and no longer relevant items. Once information is collected and organized, it's time to distill. We analyze the information and look for the essence. Extract the key ideas from the information. Find what is the most important and turn them into something even more useful. Finally, we need to express. All of the information we have gathered is useless if we don't apply it for ourselves or for others. The process doesn't stop at using the information we need. We also share them with others and spread the value. That's how we make the best out of it all. Once we build our second brain, we need to use it effectively so that it can increase productivity and creative potential. It may be tempting to save all information at once, just in case we need it someday. But it's important to save only ones that resonate and are reflective of our daily lives. Highlight why it's important before clicking the Save button to make sure the information contributes to goal achievement or productivity. Simply deciding to create a second brain isn't enough. To get the full benefits of it, we need to use it regularly every time of the day. Even when we're offline, there's a time when some great ideas suddenly pop up in our heads. 
Use a pen and notepad before you transfer them to the second brain. Whether you're ready to put the idea into action immediately or not, you plant a seed first without worrying about when or how it will bear fruit. Our second brain, just like the real brain, will never stop evolving. It's a system we constantly engage with and refine over time. Try to always commit to it, nurturing it to become a habit. Rely on it. But even the best designed second brain can get cluttered after a while. This is why we also should refresh it over time. Review the state of the system regularly. Get rid of information that is no longer needed, consolidate redundant notes, or incorporate new productivity ideas. The main goal is always to retain information more efficiently to get more things done. Focus on completion instead of craving for more and more information to get a perfect, insightful second brain. While the biological brain isn't the best place to store all the information, our second brain allows us to have as much information as we need in a digital medium. It will help us recall the information we had consumed even years ago, any time we need it, helping us to minimize stress and anxiety because we know what needs to be done with every piece of information. It doesn't have to be complex projects like writing a book or building a business. When we make building a second brain a habit, we do ourselves a favor to prevent even the smallest things in our daily lives from slipping through the cracks. The rapid growth of technology undeniably creates information abundance, but along with it, it also presents a solution. It allows us to build a digital system so we can spend less time stressing about remembering the information and spend more time doing what makes us feel alive.